Hello everyone, this is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new Game Maker tutorial. Today, I tried filming this tutorial and realized, wow, I need to try actually making this program before I teach everyone how to. So I did, and here's what it's going to do. Here's your guy. This is built off of the score and health. I think it was called health and score tutorial, I'm not sure. Anyways, pretty much, we're going to have... Our clip up here, our amount of ammo up here, our score, our health bar from the other tutorial, and it's all going to follow the view, and we're going to have limited ammo. We're going to run out of the clip, we're going to hit R, we're going to reload the clip, it'll subtract from the ammo, add to how much is in our gun, this is in our pocket, this is in our gun, and then start shooting the majibis out of these blue flipping squares. Anyways, let's get to it. Here is our health and score tutorial, and we're going to be building off of it, as I have previously stated. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a variable, and we're going to call it ammo. We're going to set it to something like, I don't know, it can be, uh, say, 25 is a good number. We're going to set another variable, clip, we're going to set that to 10. Now we're going to go to space and we're going to put this all in brackets and we're going to check if clip is greater than zero. Then we are going to follow through with this and we want to take clip and set it relative to negative one. Don't forget relative. It's very good. Now this already should run and I can shoot until wabamo I run out of ammo now I am going to go to the controller and I now that that works but first I want to start adding a little bit more heads up display so we're gonna go to control we're gonna make it draw the variable um, B J O B J guy dot ammo. We're gonna draw it at view underscore width view divided by two plus view underscore x view plus thirty two. We're gonna set the y value to view underscore y view plus two. And we're gonna just copy that all. We're gonna make this subtract. 32 and actually I want the clip on the right side just so it's the same as the previous example dot clip now this if I enable views should be same pretty much the same program as we had before now it'll show our clip is emptying here and once it runs out I can't shoot anymore now we're just going to go, we'll, we'll get back to the view stuff later. I want to finish teaching everyone about ammo, because I love flipping shooting things. Now, we want a reload function, because once this clip runs out and we still have ammo in our pocket, we want to take that and put it into our gun. Otherwise, the army will never hire us, unless we're going to be like a shield or something. But that's not as much fun as shooting things. So we're going to add an event, key press, letters R. And we are going to make this set the alarm 0 to 20. Now we're going to go to alarm 0, and we are going to add a loop. We're going to repeat this event 10 times, because that's how much ammo is in our clip. Or not how much ammo is in our clip, that's the size of our clip. And then we're going to make some brackets. And we're going to check if ammo is greater than zero, if clip is smaller than 10, then we will set ammo relative to negative one, and we will set clip relative to, oh, whoa! relative to one 
Sorry for freaking out, it's just that relative. It used to always throw me off. But now it doesn't. Because I'm a hero. Now, this... You know, I feel like it should work, but that just seems too easy. Bam, 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 bam. R. Ho, ho! Yes! And you can reload in the middle of your clip, and it'll only subtract as many as it needs to subtract to refill your clip. So that's cool. We can keep shooting things. We can jump on some... Ow! Anyways, let's get back to this. Now we only have one thing left, and that is... The view. If the view is a little bit smaller than normal, and I think I have other tutorials that talk about views, so I hope this all makes sense to you. Now, this view will follow my little guy. And <laughs> it is a funny size. We're going to just set that to 240. Perfect. There we go. Oh, my guy's nice and tall. So, these, the clip and the, the ammo all follow everything right because when I set to draw it, I said view underscore x view, which is the top left corner point of your view, and, and view y view, of course. Um, those, those two points tell you where the top left corner of your view is. So view underscore width view is how wide the view is, and by dividing that by 2, I get to the middle of the view. Now for all these other ones, for score, to make this line up with where my view is in the room, I just say view underscore x view plus room width minus 2. Except I don't want this to be room width because now my view is smaller than that. So I want to say view underscore width <laughs> width w view and that should be really good. Now I want this to be view underscore y view plus 2. That will set my score to the correct position. Ha ha! Well, bam -o. I have a big score. Now my font is a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Run it again. Oh yeah! Now, we want the health bar also to follow the view, so we'll just say view underscore x view plus view underscore y view plus underscore, I don't want that, uh, view underscore x view plus and view underscore width view width y view plus. Now, I probably don't want this to be quite that large, so I'm just going to set that to 50 and say 18. Oh, that would be so cool if this all just worked out. All right. Now we've got jumping around. We've got all these little guys. We've got ammo. We've got everything following the view. We've got, oh, it reloads. This is splendid. All right, well, I think that brings me to the end of my tutorial. Thanks to Eric, also known as Eric in the First, for the idea for an, uh, an ammo tutorial. And the score and the health following the view, that was a request from Mousetrap Gaming Video. Thanks for giving me ideas for tutorials, guys. If you guys have any more ideas for tutorials, just let me know, and I'll try to get them out there. I know I haven't been making tutorials recently, but I would love to make more in the future. Anyways, I gotta go, but I hope you really enjoyed my tutorial. See you next time.